Well, the first round of uh, City Downhill World Tour is very unique. The race in Santos, Brazil, is just different to anything what you can race probably. The track, it's really difficult. You cannot probably prepare for this kind of race. You just need to get skills uh, after uh, every single race of a City Downhill World Tour. You just cannot go to the city and train. So that's why it's making the race so unique. I decided to join the City Downhill World Tour because I love uh, urban race first and I also think it's one of the best way to, to show the general public uh, what mountain bike is uh, capable of and this is first year so we need to support the series. I've cut my handlebar and uh, I also cut some tires so to just don't get the tires not as tall because on a really hard park like the concrete it's like to roll so it's better to get low low knobs. I've always loved the city downhill races, just they bring our sport into the people and it's something different. We're always riding out in the woods, so it's fun to come and ride on like street riding like we used to do when we were kids. I'm riding my regular downhill bike. Uh, the setup is just a little bit stiffer than usual, but apart from that, I haven't really changed too much. Narrow, we've narrowed down the handlebars a little bit, there's some tight spots up there. <laughs> After qualifying, yeah, Mig was leading by two seconds, so I was starting to build my plan, like what to change, where to be faster, where to be slower. In the final run, I was super concentrated. I feel really relaxed and I knew I, I can go much faster in the qualifying and I cut two seconds down, so I can't complain. I was super stoked with my run and I had really good feeling, so. Yeah, I'm super excited because to win like the fourth victory in the in the, in the place, it's amazing. 